How are you going? This is Barry Jones from My Remote, and we're going to go through the setup of an iTac Plex. Now, what you get in your box on a thumb drive is uh, your software iLearn, iConvert, iHelp, and iTest. Now, these are all global cache software to assist you in um, adding IR codes, um, setting up network, basic, basic tools. Um, we're going to go through iHelp right now. I'm going to double click on iHelp. Now what happens is iHelp looks for a beacon that uh, is sent out from the iTech Flex. Uh, we have plugged in a cable version directly into our modem and power supply and let it boot up. And here it is, as you can see, it shows up uh, on our network. Now it's DHCP set up, which means that it does assign itself an IP address, but we do need to correct that just purely to, to lock it in. So if you take your mouse, go over the top, right hand button and select configure. That opens a browser. All the iTech Flexes actually have their own web, uh, web server built on board to store all their software so you can access them via, via the network. Now, first of all, we're going to go through in our network settings. Uh, it comes out of the box, as I said, DHCP enabled. Now, the reason it does that is just so when you plug it in, you can find it on your network. What we're going to do is we're going to lock it in. And we can use the, the one that's populated. We know it's empty. Um, you go right through, DHCP 10.0.0.88, um, subnet mask, gateway, primary DNS. These are the standards that are set on my network, but they might be different to yours. We click save. Now, generally what happens is we're going through a reboot process, and well, that's what that is doing is saving the IP address, which is 10.0.0.88. That's being saved to the device. So in any other places when we go to do our um, gateway setup, you actually type in 10.0.0.88 and it will find that gateway for you, which is our iTech Flex. Just give it a little bit longer as to boot. So basically it goes through a reboot, saving the software, and then basically starting again. Don't take too much longer. Three, two, one and it will go through a reboot. Because we've kept the same IP address, it will reboot inside the same web browser. Now I can go back and have a look. As you can see, it's saved. We go back. Now, we got Flex Link Port. Now in our cabled environment, we have um, the single IR, we have the Flex Link Tri Port, and we will have, have the Flex Link Serial. Now we'll discuss Serial later. Uh, it's more designed for, say, CBUS lighting controllers or uh, automated switches, those types of things. So out of the three, we're going to have set this up for, say, our home theatre. We're going to use the FlexLink tri-port, which is that little three-prong three cable that you get in your box. And we're going to use the uh, blaster, which is the long-range blaster. So as I said before in the setup, we need to set that up on IR3. So we're going to make that true. So we're now selecting the flex triport cable and we're going to use the long range blaster true. And we just click save. Basically that is set up. Now firmware wise, all our boxes come standard with the latest firmware. So you shouldn't have to worry about any firmware. And generally what happens is when there's a firmware update, there'll be a new version of iHelp and iHelp will actually install the new firmware onto the unit. Very simple. In most cases, it's not really a necessity. That's how you set up your iTech Flex. We'll go through it simply. Network settings, configure your network settings, lock them in, DHCP disabled, go back. Link port, we're using the Flex Link Tri-Port cable, which is our three-prong cable, and we're going to use the Long Range Blaster, which is true. If you weren't using the Long Range Blaster, it would be set to false. So at this stage, we're gonna use it on true. And then we're going to click Save, Save Changes, and that's it, nice and simple, and then you can close the browser. As you can see, it still sits inside the iHelp. And that's as easy it is to set up your iTech Flex on your network. It takes about a minute or two to go through the process, and you're done.